I'm, I'm Kern Lambert. I am the Pro Vice Chancellor for Research in Science and Medicine at the University of Warwick. Um, we've been in Seoul for the past five days on, on a trip um, where we visited several universities and, and explored opportunities for partnerships between UK institutions and universities in Korea. Um, we were very impressed by what we found. I think we we saw that there is overwhelming academic excellence in Korea, both um, in the students, but also in the academic staff, in the, in the support they get, in the infrastructure they have available, and in, in the, the general climate that is very that conducive to, to high quality, comprehensive education. So um, we see opportunities for partnerships with UK and un Korean universities um, in teaching, in research, and in, 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 in other perhaps not so well developed ways but where, where we see opportunities um, for the future. So in terms of teaching, um, we understand that there is a desire in Korea for more student exchange with the United Kingdom and we share that desire. We would like to see more students from Korea study in the UK um, in our undergraduate degree programs. Um, we, of course the UK hosts overseas students from a number of nations, but, but if you look at the direction in, in, in which the exchanges go, then you, it, it's clear that there is an underrepresentation of Korean students on English and, and British degree programs. Um, similarly, we probably don't send as many students from the UK to Korea as, as, as one could hope for, um, given the benefits they could, they could have from, uh, from receiving at least part of their education in Korea. So we are keen to explore how we can promote and develop partnerships that will encourage this two-directional um, traffic and transfer of, of undergraduate students. For postgraduate students, um, we, we understand how they can, if there is an exchange between institutions in different countries, how they can drive research programs and how they can stimulate innovation and research. And we're very keen, therefore, to encourage exchange and, 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 and interaction at the postgraduate student level. Um, we mentioned the possibility of establishing joint postgraduate programs, joint PhD or master programs, together with Korean institutions. And that suggestion was almost universally well received. So we're very enthusiastic about that possibility. And it's a model that we will want to develop further. As far as research is concerned, I think there is tremendous potential for collaboration with, with Korea and, and between Korean universities and, and UK institutions. Um, there are several areas in which our interests and our strengths are really well aligned. And in our conversations with universities, we, we have started to explore those areas and we've started to explore mechanisms that we can develop to encourage joint collaborative research with the UK. Um, there are the, the, the problems that face mankind at the moment are, are the same everywhere, of course. And what, what, we, what we were delighted to find is that the awareness of, of the strategic importance of, of, of outstanding scientific work on the larger problems that, that matter to society now, that, that that awareness is very much present here in, in, in Korea and very well articulated. So what we intend to do is seek areas where our interests and our strategic priorities align with those in Korean institutions and then we use that as a basis for developing very concrete proposals for joint research programs. And given the academic strength and, and the, the research strength and, and, and the caliber of, of what is available academically in this country, I think we're, in the UK we will benefit tremendously from developing those partnerships. Thank you.